Hi, this is Mr. V again for Green Architecture. Today we're going to be working in Revit and I'm going to teach you how to make materials in a more efficient way and then how to use the paint tool as well. You can see on this shipping container I've got a, some yellow exterior walls and then some blue interior and actually a blue exterior wall. So I'm going to show you how to paint today. An easier way to make materials, which we've done with our floors and siding, is just go to Manage click materials and then we're going to create new materials like we've done in the past and it's always your default so you want to rename that right click rename so I'm going to say like a uh, green paint okay now usually we've went to Google and found images but uh, there are a variety of colors in Revit. All you have to do up here instead of graphics, switch it to appearance. Okay. And I would check use rendered appearance. That's how it's going to look when you draw it. Click this color here and you can just find a color. Okay. You can do custom colors and make your own, I believe. So I want this green color. I'm going to hit OK. Now I have green in my library. So again, materials, create new material, name it what you want it to be, and you can do that for floor materials, you can do it for exterior materials, anything, okay? So let's say I want a, oops, let's say I want a gray wall paint. Again, check Use Rendered Appearance because that's how it's going to look when you do it. Change to Appearance in this tab here. Okay, that's really dark. See how the shade has changed a little bit? I'm even going to go a little bit lighter and hit OK. So now I've got those two new materials in my library for this project. Okay. To do painting, you just click on a wall. Okay, and that switches to modify walls. So right now that wall's yellow. Let's say I want to paint it. This is your paint material. You just click it. Okay. I've got my colors there. I made orange and blue yesterday. Here's that green I made. There's the gray I made. So click that, green paint. Click the wall you want to apply it to. Then hit done. And that wall's became green now. Okay, let's see if it works on a door. So I click the door, paint. Let's try my gray wall paint. I don't think it's going to work on the doors, unfortunately. Okay, it doesn't work on the doors. So the doors you'll have to change like you've done your floors. And I can show you that in just a second. Okay, we did the windows yesterday for the door. Same thing, click it, edit type. Now, depending on your door, it's going to have multiple materials that you have to change. So the panel material, I've already changed to bright red. I'd have to change the frame, the trim, and the threshold, which is the bottom part that you walk in over. If you want them to be different colors, you can do that. Okay. So that's bright red paint. If you've already put your materials in like we have, you just search for it. There's my gray wall paint. Let's click that. Let's hit OK. Hit OK. And now my door has become gray, but you can see the frame and the threshold are still red. Okay. So if you want to get real creative and use some different materials, you can do that. Interior wall, same thing. Click it. It brings up this. You hit the paint. Find a color you like. So I'd go in and make several materials, maybe brainstorm the colors you want it to be. So let's say I want it to be orange. I'm going to click it. Done that walls become orange. Okay, so the paint tool is really simple. Um, if you want different rooms to be a variety of colors, you have to get a little more creative when you do your walls in Revit. I drew this as one long wall, and then I came back and added this wall to do the bedroom. So if I wanted this room to only be a certain color, you'd have to make your walls shorter. Okay, which is kind of kind of tricky. And remember when we're on the inside we want to use our interior walls. 
Okay. So if I want to redraw this room, I'd almost have to delete that. And that's kind of up to you as you, when you design it. If you know you want certain rooms, certain colors, and not to share those colors, I would uh, keep that in mind when you're designing your container home from the beginning. If you want to make your container look more realistic, one thing you can do is find an example of metal siding. Okay, this one's vertical. This one runs horizontal. I'm going to choose a vertical one. Okay, just like we've done with floors, we want to save image as. Okay, I'm going to name it metal siding container. Now, I don't want that gray color. We're going to try and paint that later. So, I'm going to rev it. Click my exterior wall. Remember, we have interior and exterior walls. All of them are basic wall generic. I'm going to edit type. Okay, the structure I right now have it as a parking stripe. So I'm going to add my new material. And in the beginning, if I were starting this from scratch, I'd go to the material tab, the manage and create all my materials there. So I'm going to name that metal siding. Use rendered appearance, appearance, and this time I have an image. Okay, there's my metal siding container. I'm going to hit OK. Hit OK, and it should change all those walls. And it did, but you can see the paint's already over it. Okay. So pick your siding first, then go back and paint it. And I may have to go in there and change that color. Let's go see if we can do that. Materials. Metal siding. Appearance. Okay, let's see if we can change the color this way. Let's say I want like a light blue. So you can make these custom colors just by moving it up and down. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Hit OK. There. Okay, one thing I found after trying several things, uh, you can see the basic metal siding is this gray here. You zoom in, it's got some vertical lines. When you paint it, it's going to lose that detail. So if you want it to have a pattern on your metal on your siding for your container home try to find that color with an image like we've done previously. If you just want it to be flat and all one color without a texture, you can paint it different colors. Okay. And um, you can change walls like if you want a certain wall to have wood or shake siding and the rest to have metal siding, that's up to you. You know, you get to be as creative as you want with this. One thing I do want to remind you of uh, when you're drawing, stay in hidden line until you're ready to add colors and then until you add your final product because it makes it Revit run a lot smoother. When you get into that realistic view, it, it's using a lot of graphics and it just slows down the computer. So stay in hidden line while you're adding your furniture and adding all your rooms and doors and windows and doing your cuts. When you're ready to paint, then go back to that realistic view. And that's it for this video. Thanks.